Good morning. Excuse my wobbly camera today. I am out for my walk, so I thought I'd pop on here and give you a walking for weight loss tip. So this one really is more about form than it is about speed or calorie burn. Um, something that a lot of us don't realize is that we are always using our core. You roll over in bed, you're using your core. You sit up, you're using your core. Using your core. Um, you go from sitting to standing, standing to sitting, you're using your core. So that is um, really great because your core is already used to working. So if you're working on walking and trying to slim down, especially in the waist area, one of the good things to work on while you're walking is engaging, actively engaging your core. So that means thinking about those muscles and flexing them. Right, I'm doing right now. <laughs> you can't see, but um, you can definitely feel it. You can feel when you do that, you start to feel how those muscles interact with your hip flexors, how they interact with your thighs and your legs. So you really start to feel that connection between all the different parts and muscles, sinews and um, tendons and ligaments of your body. So that is my walking for weight loss tip. And I think I will do these once a week. I think that's probably a good, um, for me anyway, it's a, it's a, a good, cycle for me. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see this giant hill I'm going down and up. I don't know if you can tell from here, but yes. And then, and then I'm back home. <laughs> well, not really. I got to walk all the way back first, but yes. So engage that core. Think about your abdominal muscles. Remember that your core muscles go into your back as well. So when you squeeze, you'll feel your lower back squeezing as well and the more you do that the stronger your lower back will be as well and the better your gait will be when you walk all right see you next week for another walking for weight loss tip